Let's go back to the year 2020. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world, masks became a basic necessity, the number one tool of protection against the infection. As the virus spread, not wearing a mask in public became a punishable offence in most Indian states as well. Cut to the present day, as the crisis has started easing over the last few months, several countries around the world are now removing the mask mandate. The move aims to ensure a smooth transition to the pre-pandemic life. The United States and the UAE have done away with the mask mandates. Moreover, in the UK and European countries like Denmark, France, Spain and Italy as well, wearing a mask is no longer required by the law. Understandably, in India as well, state governments have been easing these restrictions. Delhi, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Telangana have all removed the mask mandate. In fact, Haryana was the latest to withdraw the mask mandate on Saturday. Interestingly, India first imposed a fine for not wearing a mask. This was in 2020, then hiked it to 2,000 rupees later in the year. The government then reduced the fine to 500 rupees in February this year. It still remains to be seen how these um, updated mandates will be playing out. In the last 24 hours, India has reported only 795 fresh COVID-19 cases and 58 COVID-19 related deaths. But the BA2 variant of Omicron is believed to be spreading fast in some parts of Europe and China. That's why experts continue to warn that lowering of the guard should not happen and that the pandemic is still not over. Especially with children below the age of 12 years still unvaccinated, the question remains, is India ready to go mask-free public fatigue and political pressure forcing governments to do away with masks. Indian schools have also reopened, but a large number of children are still unvaccinated. According to doctors, good vaccination coverage was one of the reasons for the low mortality during the third wave of the infections. And that's why it is imperative for India's health infrastructure to now focus on jabbing the unvaccinated children. With us on the broadcast this minute is Dr. Narendra Kumar Arora. He is the chairman of India's COVID-19 working group of the National Technical Advisory Group on Immunization. Thanks very much, doctor, for being here with us. Uh, what do you make of the easing of the mask mandates in some parts of India? Is the country at large, according to you, ready to go mask free? So thank you very much for inviting me. I would make three points. First, that COVID is very much around us. We are still getting COVID uh, patients. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, India has started uh, not only patient uh, genomic surveillance, but sewage surveillance and in the sewage in our uh, ecosystem. Second, that uh, although we see that during last three weeks, there has been, a, I would say, almost an exponential decline in the number of cases. And in last uh, 24 hours, it was less than 1,000 cases. Deaths have also come down drastically. So these issues uh, have potential to make us complacent. Third thing is that... Uh, in several parts of the world, particularly East Asia and some parts of Europe, there is a sub lineage is going on, BA2. And, uh, but fortunately, Indians have already faced it and we, were, uh, we did not have such a major problem as it is. So in, in summary, I would say that uh, we need to continue and maintain the vigilance and it is better that we maintain the corona appropriate behavior uh, as we have been doing it completely uh, negating it and started having a uh, big social gatherings marriages and birthday parties is more time because during last two three days some new variants have been reported and WHO has uh, underscored their importance that we need to watch them. 
which is X, D, where X, E, and X, F, which is a recombination of Right, and the need to also focus on uh, jabbing the unvaccinated children with the schools reopening as well. We're leaving it there for the moment. Dr. N. Karora, appreciate very much for joining us on the broadcast and sharing those perspectives. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.